Hi, I'm Varnaz and welcome to Low Carb Keto Recipes and having fun. Today I have the recipe for you of a flourless keto low carb gluten free French toast. French toast which needs no flour and turns out absolutely yumlicious. I made a batch here, let me show you what it looks like and maybe do a taste test. So here they are. And let me pick one up. I'm not drizzling any. Mm. So we're standing in my kitchen. Let's get cooking. So let's begin. We take a 10 by 4 or a 9 by 3 inch uh, mm, baking pan and line it with uh, parchment paper. Now you take a blender and crack in four large eggs into it. We're going to make everything in the blender. Three ounces of softened cream cheese. Put that in. And next we have 75 grams of butter softened. Measure it when it's softened. And then we are going to melt it and put that in. Just see that it's not piping hot. Give it a good blend in your blender. Next, we are going to add one fourth of a cup of a sweetener. I've used a stevia erythritol blend. One teaspoon of cinnamon powder, half to one teaspoon, that's entirely up to you. And half a t one teaspoon of baking powder. Give this another good blend in your blender. You can use any blender, not a problem. And now we're going to pour this mixture in and it's ready to go into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees centigrade for 25 to 27 minutes. You can also add some chopped pecans if you like. Here it is after it's baked. It's going to be a bit soft, but don't worry because now we are going to cook it in the pan. That's the beauty of getting that perfect French toast. So now I'm putting maybe two, three tablespoons of butter in a pan, letting it slightly heat up and put in your slices, as many as fit into your pan and toast them on each side for about two to three minutes. You'll see they'll turn this lovely toasty um, brown and here we have these beautiful French toast flawless um, and you're going to love this one and uh, please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell to get all my other notifications. I've also put over it some cinnamon powder and any zero carb syrup. So thanks for watching again and see you soon in my next recipe. Bye.